Hello everybody, my name is Ash. Welcome back to New Vegas. And I think I'll just do a... This character, I think I'll just do one of the DLCs. Uh, purely for an arm set. <laughs> uh, the Honest Hearts. Not the best DLC, but... Hey, I thought, you know, it's, it's alright. I think the radio's muted on my fucking... On this, so whatever, fuck it. So anyway, what we need to go is just over here. Shit. The fuck out of here. Not time for that. Hey! This guy got it. <coughs> Don't even know if blocking does anything in this game. Oh well. Anyway, that's not the focus of this. This is, you know, this is me making my way to the uh, DLC. Along the northern roads of uh, of the Mojave. A little shit shack over there as well. Looks like it's boarded up by the looks of it. Oh no, it's not. Have any actual worth though, that's kind of disappointing. Hmm. Oh, look at that rock texture, kind of looks like iron ore from uh, Skyrim. That's brought it up. Don't know why. Northern Passage. How do friends? Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Say more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design, plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who's Joshua Graham? And why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. 
Tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway's too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. What can you tell me about the New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, Happy Trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. I had, a, I had some other questions. Shoot. I'll be all. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to some of these, because I think at talking to him sets the sets off the mission. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. What was it like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factors off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? How, they have porn movies in Fallout? Like, I thought, like, film wasn't even a thing anymore. Tell me about... Uh, Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So... Now I do this. Were the eighties a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into eighties territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them. So we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. God damn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What do you know what do you know about the White Lakes? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. 
But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Goodbye. Catch you another time, then. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Pancho, one of them strip families, got killed right in his own casino. You know he pissed off the wrong guy. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Unwarranted hospitality and general agitation. How long have you been on psycho addicts? Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! Ah, I guess you can use him as a pack mule. How much psycho you got stashed away? If you run out on, on the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. But uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here, got any suggestions? Got psycho to sell, but it won't be cheap. All right, all right. I'm a little light. How many hits you holding? I, that's not even that much money. Never mind. <laughs> you know what? I don't. Never mind. It's your problem, not mine. Why'd you bring it up then? When the withdrawal hits and I feel like killing something, I'll know where to start. I see you're wearing a pit boy and a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where'd you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2 2. That's where I grew up. Where is Vault 22? I can't tell you that. I have a sworn vow of secrecy. Or something like that. To all the people I left behind. You're lying. You have no idea where Vault 22 is. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? What do you use your pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm going to guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Did you notice I'm wearing a pit boy? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. I don't think your pit boy works. I'd better kill... Tell Jed. Go ahead. Your word against mine, fucko. See what happens. I'm convincing. You're not. You'll believe me. Hey, hey, hey. Why you gotta go and be like that? Fuck! Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? What I want is for you to scram. This expedition doesn't need you. You know what? Carry some of my gear, okay, and I'll keep my mouth shut. Carry some of my gear and keep my mouth shut. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. You do anything around here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? And done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname, Dead Eye Ricky. 
That's my name. Dead eye, huh? How'd you get that nickname? Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Death jaws, huh? You mean said death claws? No, no. You heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. You're saying that you killed a Brotherhood of Steel paladin. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them Brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Okay, which way do I go? You know, I'll probably, I'll probably get like XP for that one, but I want to go with this one. What a load of crap. The eye slits in the T-Series power armor are bulletproof. Then I guess this dumb fucker's armor must have been D-Series or something. All I know is he died up real dead when I killed him, okay? Do you have any other special skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah. I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Well, I think we're good to go now. Uh, just down that road. There's nothing down there. It's just a fucking long winding path. Uh, that's our shipping crate. Whatever. Are you here to join me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Well, we can. Can we tell? I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Warlords, how dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. All right. I have some other questions. All right, let's ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? No, I've got the weapon. weapons I want. Why the weight limit, though? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. I'm ready to go. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us.
The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Mal Pace Legate, was a New Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The New Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt, I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving, and keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not the other thing. Oh, there's another guy. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch it! I don't deserve this! My pit boy don't even work. Why the fuck you hire me? Shut the hell up, Ricky. Might as well be waiting. Stay low, people. Here. Stay low. Here I come. I was a sheriff once. God damn it. Where the fuck are they? There's no red dots anywhere. <laughs> this is some scripted bullshit. This. What the fuck. What the fuck? This is this what a script? You can't even like save them. It's so scripted. <laughs> well, whatever. Whatever. I'll take your fucking ten millimeters. Oh, ten millimeters. Of chewing gum. Water. Sunglasses. Uh, nah. I'll take your jumpsuit though. Sell that later. What a shame. What a shame. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of stuff here. Absolutely daft. I was kind of hoping I could save him, but I guess, like, 
it was scripted because they were literally just dropping dead around me without anything actually shooting them. Oh well, easy enough. Tomahawk, yeah, I'll pass on the tomahawks. Grenade launcher, fucking hell. The hell is that? Anti material rifle? What the fuck are these guys doing with anti material rifles? Not even a fan of anti material rifles, if I'm honest. What have these guys got? Fire resistance, light armor. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Odds for that though. We can actually put a sniper. We can actually put a silencer on these uh, anti-material rifles. So who knows? Maybe I should w use it. But the fact that I get so many critical hits with the uh, scout rifle is ridiculous, and pretty much the reason why I'm I would prefer it. Oh shit. Well, he got he got assassinated. I guess that's why he. Hoy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow, Joshua will want to hear about this. Fucking hell, your eyes are c clipping through your eyelids. Civilized lands? What do you mean? I mean the lands beyond the valley, the place where the cities never fell. Where people don't live in tribes and forage just to survive. Joshua keeps saying it isn't paradise out there. But how can it not be compared to this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Joshua will want to know about you. Please, go to our camp on the Eastern Virgin. Tell him how you came to be here. You've got a funny idea about the Mahav what the Mahav is like. But I'll go with you and see your boss. Good sists. Maybe while you're there, you can tell me about where you came from. Yeah. Perhaps. Follow shock has given you the well stacked uh Karen's book. Oh, follow shock is in your party, reaching any summit will so valley right such as range stitches will reveal the nearby map markers. And inspire a heightened state of awareness plus three you know, for three minutes. That seems like a weird, weird, weird perk. But whatever. I suppose it doesn't matter. We're not here for that anyway. Now I can't remember how, what ending I got for this uh, DLC, on my uh, hardcore playthrough. Hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Not that, not that log. So, I can't remember how I did, did it. I think I tried going for like a an ending where everyone survived, but... We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Oh, I tried going for a peaceful ending, but I don't. Freeze! Don't move on us. Whew. <laughs> that was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> don't get used to it, though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. Yeah, wait, oh yeah, there's no, there's no Yaogwai in the base. 
You can take the path Game. north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff if you want to look. Go he head straight east and follow the uh, where the Yagwai went. Oh, there, there, there's the Yagwai cub. The thing I like about New Vegas is uh, all of, like. Like playing at this point in the game is just the the amount of like, like the shadow of the ghost. It's the 50 XP per kill. It just feels very satisfying. The spine. We will break it. <laughs> Some kind of view up here, eh? If you know how to look, you can spot all kinds of landmarks from up here. Look, I'll show you. Does that cap does that give us that boost of perception? Yes it does. Fucking hell. I guess from like from like a, a role playing perspective, like you know, climbing up and getting map climbing up to like peaks and getting map markers and all sorts of stuff, like being able to spot stuff is pretty cool. Again, from the role-playing perspective of it. Ten XP, that's crap. Waste of ammo. <laughs> that exploded everywhere. You see the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Railway spikes, yeah, I'll pass on that. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Park Ranger hat, I like that fucking Park Ranger hat. I'm curious. Well, does that does that have any stats attached to it? Survival plus five perception one. That's actually, eh, you know what? The other, you know, I like like it's the thing with like Boone's hat. You know, it looks cool. It's got good stats, but it's like too good. It's like there's no like alternative. Like, obviously, you can get like a helmet that gives you defense, but for for like the majority of the game, there's no alternative that can compare because of the critical, the, the extra point of perception and the extra critical chance is just too valuable. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. I'll drink some water, get ourselves to full health. No, we can't. Oh, my God, we can't even make our gecko sticks. That's not good. That's got to be in Grand. That's got to be in the Xander route. Hmm. I wonder. Let's get something. We need to take something that will get our endurance up. Oh, wait a minute. We got the fucking ranger hat. 
We can put that on and make gecko steaks. Well, you know what? There's something to that. Hmm. That's very, that was a very useful uh, <laughs> thing. Nearly I think we picked that up. We didn't have to use la a lad's life or, uh, or any drugs. White legs out. Somehow. Yeah. They're not exactly... Well, I'm going to say say this. They're not exactly well hidden, these traps. But then again, I'm going to say this. I'm probably going to walk into a trap. I keep wanting to catch fish like it's fucking Skyrim. I just want to do the do the cat. Like I'm not even too asked about do exploring this DLC. I just want to beat it. Just ahead there in the angel cave. Dead horse warrior. Joshua Graham? I'm sorry, I don't understand you. Auslander Utman Zuka Joshua Graham? You look for Joshua Graham? Yes, I'm looking for him. Uh, is he here? He in high place of cave. You show respect, Auslander. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder. And fire. Uh, I'm okay. Thanks for that. I'm sure I would. I sure would hate to be shown thunder and fire. Ha ha! Funny, Auslander. Maybe soon dead, Auslander. There he is. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Hey, he mentioned another courier. He mentioned I'm not the courier he expected. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might do the Lonesome Road DLC, but that DLC is pretty difficult in my in my opinion. Not the good kind of difficult. The more the uh, get swarmed by small animals, screen shake, death, instant death sort of shite. I came here with a Happy Trails caravan to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. 
I'm not going to leave without offering to help. What can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follow Shop can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Like, welcome back. What can I do for you? I've met Caesar, you know. What do you think he would say if I told him you were here? I think that would put him and you in a difficult position. Caesar has agents looking for me, but he won't admit I'm alive. And even if you killed me, he can't acknowledge that. To do so would be to admit I had never died, that Caesar made a mistake. No, he lives by his lies and shall die by his lies. There is no escaping it. What did you say ex about a courier? Who were you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. Nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. What's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Why did the White Legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. 
Why haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley? The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Are the new Canaanites really a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down and you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Talk about something else. Of course. Prayer, pray, God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Sounds like a good deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Do you have anything to trade? We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. So, let's have a look. It sells weapons. It's got the auto pistols. Fire bombs. Like my Jesus. He also sells uh, the mod. Oh, wait, ammo. It's no, it doesn't sell 308. Ooh, whatever. It does sell the uh, mods, though, for the uh, pistol. That, for those pistols. So you got the silencers. Which spread. Oh, it's SMG, that, but hell. Si silencer for the auto pistol sounds alright. But we're not really interested in that shit. And let's sell our anti-material rifle because I have no interest in using that. There we are. Can I ask some personal questions? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. All right. Goodbye. God be with you. The shadow of a ghost. See what happens if I decide to kill Joshua Graham. Can I kill Joshua Graham? Well, I nearly killed him. Can't pickpocket him because I tried pickpocketing him. Whatever. Does have a lot of health. Okay, let's pick a quest then and go with it.
Alright, I can do these in a certain order, I guess. It's a shame I can't just select more than one quest. But, that'd probably fuck things up. Bitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. A bit of a crash down there. If we can. Oh, this is. This will hurt. Yeah. Ugh. Compass. There we are. Roadside attraction. Wow. I remember last time I, I was playing this, when I first played this DLC, I had like high survival, so uh, this area was pretty good because I had a lot of lunch boxes. We could make some caravan meals, but. Looking back, high like other than like speech options, like like having a high survival wasn't really that like beneficial to the game. But obviously, having a minimum of twenty five to make gecko steaks is pretty fucking useful because gecko steaks, you know, very easy to make, really easy to come across. machine gun. There we are. 
Oh shit, that's a gecko. More like gecko, mate. Fucking hell. Is this the one with the, all the traps on it? I can't remember. Fucking oh, that's a that's a huge fucking gecko. Run! What the fuck? I got one shotted. That don't seem right. That doesn't. That seems a bit suspicious. I think that must have been a glitch. What the fuck? It, they do one. Sh they do one shot you. I didn't even do any damage. I didn't even do the damage advertised, Evo, which is fucked. Wonder what ever happened to our fucking. Companion. What the fuck? They move way too fast and do too much damage. Of course. Oh, of course. They seem to have like a certain like chase range. So if I like ran back here. Oh no, never mind. The XP. What? Why is that fucking thirty five? Whatever. I got all the shots off. Oh, cool. Giant geckos that drop no meat. That's, that makes sense. Man, 